A UK energy company has apologized for offering some pretty bad energy saving tips during this winter. Uh, in a blog post sent to clients of the brand SSE, Ovo Energy has suggested that during these cold winter months, cold winter months, instead of turning up the heat, they should cuddle their pets, their loved ones, eat ginger, or have some porridge, do a little housework, challenge children to a hula hoop con uh, contest, drink more water, well, I mean, drink more water is good, uh, buy wool socks, or do jumping jacks in order to save on heating bills. Ah, yes. Great. That, that'll work. Way to beat the heat. So now, this is as energy prices have increased as a result of OPEC+. Plus. So now OPEC+, Plus is, you know, uh, basically a cartel of oil-producing countries that have come together, uh, and they have basically cut production. They said, we're going we're gonna to lower production of oil during this time of demand. Why? So we can raise prices. We can raise prices and get back some of the money that we lost during the height of the pandemic when everything was shut down. Businesses were shut down. Uh, you know, people weren't, weren't traveling anymore. They were staying in their homes. And so these, uh, these countries and companies lost out on some major profit. Now they're trying to get it back. And so they have raised their prices, which has caused a lot of pain, not only for people going to get gasoline uh, at the pump, but also people who use gas to, you know, heat their homes. And so a lot of people have now been dealing with higher prices. And so now I don't think I need to point out that telling people to cuddle their pets when they can't afford heat is pretty stupid. Uh, I think it is. I think it is very stupid. Uh, but apparently this company, instead of, I don't know, taking a slight profit loss, decided, no, we're going to raise prices anyway, and then put out this ridiculous statement. Right. Okay. So now, and, and by the way, they thought this was good advice. Yes. G great advice. Great advice. Mm. So now this actually reminds me of the McDonald's budget that went around what, like 10 years ago? It's been going on for the internet for quite some time. Y'all remember this, right? Uh, here, here it is. Your sample monthly budget. Space for a first and second job when you're working at McDonald's, by the way. Because, you know, you have to have a second job to afford stuff to work at McDonald's. And even so, the numbers in here don't make any sense. I mean, look, at mortgage rent, $600. Is anybody in the big city paying that much? No, of course not. Maybe in like rural Missouri, small town flyover state America, which I live, by the way, my mortgage isn't even that low. And I don't, I don't have a giant house, that's for sure. Uh, and so, I mean, who, who's paying $600 for a mortgage? Maybe if you're renting with like three other people. Car payment? I wish mine was that, you know, what was, was that low. Uh, and, and, and let's be fair. These are, these are 2013, I guess, numbers. Still, still um, pretty unrealistic. Health insurance. $20 for health insurance. Health insurance. Does anybody have, has anybody ever had? Health insurance that costs 20 bucks from your job. Now, maybe if you're working in a really, really good job, uh, you know, your, your employer will cover your entire insurance plan. That does happen. And, and, and lucky, you know, for those people. But if you are working in McDonald's, you think that they're going to offer you a health insurance plan for 20 bucks. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? 
it, even you know the cable phone, uh, electric, others, um, in the heating. There was actually another version of this uh, where heating bill was about nothing. It was actually nothing, zero. So they changed this one to fifty dollars. Even so, that's that's fairly unrealistic during the winter time. Okay, uh, and again, I I would know. Uh, because, you know, I, I live in a state called Michigan, and we have this thing called winter, where it gets kind of cold outside, okay? Uh, very, very cold outside. So now, in, in the summertime, our gas bill is roughly like, what, $20? $20. $20. that that's good because it's already warm outside. In the wintertime, it gets to at least $150, at least. So, you know, and I could probably cut that by getting new windows, but... Who can afford to get new windows? I mean, I've got a pretty old house. It's a little leaky when it comes to air, and you know, you gotta do the, the plastic over the windows, and even so, it's a little drafty sometimes. And, and, and you know, replacing all the windows, a little bit expensive. Now that said, if you're renting, well then you most certainly cannot afford to do, you know, any of that. And, and by the way, that's not your responsibility to replace windows uh, in your house. Uh, but anyway, you can't afford, if you're having a hard time affording heat, you're not gonna be able to afford to have a mortgage or, you know, buy a house or anything like that. And so it just really does really show you how absurdly cut off a lot of these corporations are from factual reality. And by the way, this is this is while pulling in record profits. And while they've been doing that, companies have still raised their prices. Inflation, they say. Oh, you know, it's inflation. We got to keep up with inflation. No, there are companies that raise their prices way more than inflation, than their actual costs have gone up. They did so simply because they could. And they blame, as I said, inflation. They also blame government spending. Oh, if they hadn't spent so much money on you, on regular people, for, for stimulus checks, things like that, well, then, then you know, we, we, wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't have to raise our prices. That, that's it. That's, uh, you know, inflation, inflation. Too much money in the government. It's too hot. The economy's too hot. Now, that's the situation in the U.S., right? And I've reported before how the government just handed the banks trillions and trillions of dollars. Corporations, they gave billions of dollars uh, in pandemic aid. Uh, and, well, would you look at that? Not only did they make record profits and get trillions of dollars in handouts, they still raised their prices. Oh, that's so strange. That's so strange. Look at that. And I'm sure something similar happened in the UK. While telling average people, to, hey, uh, you know, if you can't afford a heat, just throw on some extra socks. It's fine. Hope you don't freeze. Come on. So now, after some pretty intense backlash, uh, they apologized and said that this blog should never have been written or sent to customers. We're sincerely sorry, but are you doing anything to solve that situation? To lower prices for people? Because an apology is one thing, but keeping your prices the same while people are obviously struggling to be able to afford energy bills is another. So until they, until they solve that issue, your apologies don't mean a goddamn thing.